Yo, what is going on guys? Loco here and I'm back with a brand new video. If Fortnite is your main game or maybe you took a break and thinking about coming back, then this video is going to be super fun for you. And with that, let's get started. Okay, just a heads up guys, this is going to be a video about if Jonesy falls in the zero point and then the cube clean will do this and then the zero point will do that. I truthfully have no clue about the legitimate lore behind it. I'm simply going to be talking about what we know, what is confirmed, and also what the most notable data miners are saying. I love Fortnite. I know people say it's a dead game and all negative things, but playing Fortnite these past years have been truthfully the most fun I've had in gaming in my 26 years of life. Chapter 1, just getting home from school and work, hopping on, playing with some squads with the boys for the best times. And although Fortnite's not the same as it used to be, it's still so fun and enjoyable in my opinion. This might be a hot take, but as you guys know, the new Halo just came out, and I just can't get excited about a 4v4 and a little box map with only so many possibilities. Fortnite adds so much to the game with the giant map and the battle royale aspect. The competitive scene is so challenging to succeed and which just makes me want to play the game even more. But we play Fortnite all the time and on screen I'll show you a picture of the chapter 2 season 1 and then the current state of the map. Nothing really changed. It gets stale and boring no matter how much I love the game, especially with the lack of updates during this chapter. So I'm super excited to do this video because a new map and new mechanics is what Fortnite needs right now. So let's get into the facts. First off, if you're not convinced it'll be a new map, this picture posted by Hypex shows that the event playlist is called The End, similar to Season X of Chapter 1. As we know, things at the end of Season X got a little crazy, especially with the Brutes running around the map. Well, by the time this video is posted, the mech should be appearing on the map as well. It's currently at 69%, which means it will take less than 24 hours to be in the game usually. Hypex also tweeted, Now that The End playlist got leaked, I can finally talk about this. Chapter 3 is planned to launch on December 7th, it's so good by the way, and the black hole stays during the 5th and the 6th. These sources were never wrong about many things, and if they're wrong this time, I'll take the blame lol. So if this is an actual confirmation, I don't know what is. I've been following Hypex for a while now, and it's very rare that he would steer us in the wrong direction. New chapter means new mechanics, and Hypex also tweeted sliding mechanic and new POI teasers. The POI actually looks pretty sick. There's a bunch of buildings which gives it a tilted or lazy lakes type vibe. And let me just say, if it truthfully is a new map, landing at a new POI each game will be so fun and refreshing. I think we could all agree that this is super exciting. Another thing about this picture that was also leaked is the new sliding mechanic. As you can obviously see, this new skin is sliding through the street. There's not much information about it yet, but definitely confirmed to be a new sliding mechanic. I personally am down for a major change like this. Another leaker also stated that your movement speed will be based on terrain. So you'll actually be able to slide down slopes pretty quick. I guess kind of similar to Apex. But I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait and see on that. It's Jerry and posted this tweet and said, I'm actually so hyped for Chapter 3. Apparently there's a new map, new sliding mechanic, and weapon attachments. It's going to be insane. I feel like the weapon attachments could be something to spice up the game. But I feel like it might get a little complicated. I was a big PUBG player in my time, and half my time looting was spent switching attachments on and off my guns. So hopefully Fortnite introduces this mechanic well. I'm super optimistic always about new updates in Fortnite, so again, we will just have to wait and see. Do you guys remember this image? Epic has teased us twice now, and this image is a late game arena loading screen that shows Tilted in the background. We've been almost certain Tilted was coming to the map, but I guess it seems like it won't be returning this season. I would be super excited to see Tilted on the Chapter 3 map. Let me know down below in the comments right now if you think Fortnite is trolling or if they will actually finally return Tilted to the game. I know where I'd be dropping first game in a new map if it actually returned. If you're still not convinced about all this, here's the loading screen to the final event and it literally says the Chapter 2 Finale. Locked, loaded, and ready for the final showdown. If you guys haven't played Fortnite in a while, then you might not know Cube Town is the center of the map and each week it was slowly getting updated. The POI currently looks like this right now, and it's actually a pretty good POI for loot, besides the fact that you can't farm anything. The map is supposed to look like this at the end of the season before we go into the two-day black hole, and I can't lie, I'm so gassed up for all this new stuff. A bunch of you guys have been asking about me in the comments, and if you'd like to catch me live on Twitch, I stream every single day for 880 days in a row without taking a single day off. We discuss video topics for the channel and make content live on stream, so I'd love for you guys to come by and tell me you came from this TFG video. Anyways, I'm going to be ending the video off with this image that was just leaked. Fortnite x Spider-Man. See you in Chapter 3. And this is what I've been waiting for. I'm so excited, seriously, for all the new changes coming. Let me know down below in the comments what you're most excited about. And also, tell me if you enjoyed this type of video. 
if enough of you guys like the video, I'll do another one with updated information right before the new chapter. Awesome video done by Loco. He's been killing it lately, getting better every single video. For those of you guys who enjoy having him on the channel, leave a nice comment down below. It goes a long way. He's been helping out a ton, doing a lot of videos here, keeping you guys updated. I really appreciate it because I've been so busy in the NFT world. As you guys know, I've been talking about them a lot lately in the videos. And of course, I appreciate you guys sitting around, listening, and learning more about NFTs. It really means a Lot because it's one of my passions and a lot of you are getting into it so that's so cool and there's another project today that i learned about i want to share with you guys called the zombie squirrels now zombie squirrels is on the imx platform a layer 2 platform which we talked about previously this is where you can purchase and mint nfts without a gas fee having to pay 200 or 300 dollars to mint an nft and then on top of that another 200 or 300 just for gas fees is ridiculous now you don't have to worry about that now there's a few things about nfts that can make or break you right obviously you want to get into them early because they have that late game potential where they could blow up like the baYC but also it could be a gamble if you don't do your research and you jump into a project that doesn't have the long-term stability you might might not make it and you could lose your money that's why i always recommend doing your research and i've done my research here on zombie scrolls i do believe that they got some potential so if you guys do your research and agree on that then definitely it could be a good thing for you guys to mint and i'll go ahead and explain a little bit more about them now there's so many projects out there who are dropping so many pieces, 9,000 items, 10,000, 8,000. What I like about zombie scrolls is there's only 2,500 and every single scroll is hand drawn and has been worked on by three different artists. They also have some amazing utility. They are going to be the first collection ever to release a hard copy book. That's right guys, a full book. Every single NFT will come with your own signed book by the author. And they're not stopping there, guys. Guess what? On top of your own book, they're going to be one of the first official playable card game NFTs, which with the art, it's going to be awesome. There's so many amazing things on their roadmap. If you guys are interested in this project, I definitely recommend you join their Discord. They have such an amazing community there, super vibrant, enthusiastic, energetic, just a great group of people there and amazing art, amazing staff. It's just awesome. Go ahead and join. You can mint one now. The links will be down below in the description.